Hi folks, Roger Cormier from Midwest Outdoors out of Minnesota's Lake Mille Lacs, and we're following famous guy Tony Roach and we're doing some early ice trolling for walleyes. We're joined by some guys from the Ice Force gang that you're gonna meet shortly. We're gonna talk about some great new ice fishing products. More importantly, we're gonna teach you how to put more walleyes on the ice this winter. We're out here with the new Strike Master Lithium Laser Auger. This is the most powerful battery powered auger with 50 volts of power, packs plenty of punch, plenty of speed to do a lot of ice trolling and cover ground quickly. There's some fish in that second hole back there. In just a few minutes, two guys with two lithium Strike Master augers got 60 holes punched along the brake line of this Mille Lacs mud flat. We've graphed a bunch of the holes and we've seen quite a few feet holding on the edge of the brake line. To my right is shallower, 23, 24, and we drop off into the basin to the left and the fish are holding right in that 28, 29, kind of on the deeper edge of the lip, on the lower edge of the brake line. We're gonna get some jigs and some rods bait up and get down there and catch some walleye. You know, ice trolling, you know, this is something that Tony's been doing for years and on all the lakes he fishes, it doesn't matter whether you're fishing panties or, or walleyes, you wanna punch a lot of holes. You can't cover as much water in the winter and that's a good start right there. You know, we're, we're just getting started down the brake line, trying to find out what depth a lot of these walleyes wanna bite in and also what lures we're gonna present to them. Just six pound test line, super easy. Way to go, Raj. Very simple presentation. That's a little uh, VMC perch colored flash champ, just the head of a minnow on there. And they've got a little barrel swivel in line that prevents line twist when you're down there jigging. When you're out here ice trolling, it's nice to be able to carry as little as possible just so you can stay as mobile as you absolutely can. For us, you know, when we're out ice trolling and moving along the break, we don't like to carry a lot of gear. So I'll just simply carry my Markham, a rod, maybe a few jigs and a tackle box in my pocket. And then of course, use my bait puck as a portable minnow bucket. It works fantastic. Uh, keeps the minnow somewhat alive. Put it in your pocket and then of course, so you've got bait readily accessible without dragging a minnow bucket up and down the brake lines here. Yeah. Yep. Oh yeah. yeah oh. <laughs> That's what we're looking for. All right. <laughs> Thank you, Tony. You know, as always, it's been very interesting experimenting with different lures, different profiles and colors actions and today the tumbler spoon has been the the best producer for us some days it's the rip and wrap some days it's the flash champ or the rattle spoon the tingler we've got the uv colors there's a color scheme to match the hatch in your lake wherever you're at uh, today perch patterns have been the go-to but being on Mille Lacs, perch is the primary forage for the walleye uh, it's it's you can't go wrong with with a little bit of gold and a perch color Pretty simple setup for these walleyes. We're all fishing with 24 to 28 inch graphite ice rods, fast tips on them, but a lot of backbone in case we get some of those bigger fish on. Uh, Dan Quinn, he's got Suffix 832 ice braid and 10 pound on his reel. Tony, Steve and I are all fishing with Suffix ice magic, either six or eight pound, depending on which rod we're grabbing. And our droppers are Suffix ice fluorocarbon. So this is a simple, affordable setup for catching all the walleyes you need. You can find the gear that we're talking about at your local retailer. There he comes. Come on. There he is. Fish on. All right. I always like that when bait fish are hanging around. You know, Roger? Because you know there's a big girl not too far away. And you dropped in your Markham in the hole. You saw some bait? You know, dropped it in the hole and there was bait sitting there. So that I knew that was a good sign. And then of course, you know, with these big girls, especially early in the season, I like getting real aggressive, you know, with the spoon. As soon as that bait starts to disappear, you know there's a big fish lurking. There we go. Now there's a nice Mille Lacs walleye, huh, Rod? Nice, hey, Tony. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that fish, huh? That's how you put big fish on the ice, is staying aggressive, not only with your mindset as far as drilling, but when you're jigging as well. Nice awesome. looking walleye, all Beautiful. right. Get this girl back down the hole. Look at that, takes off like a champ. Oh, I absolutely love ice trolling. I love staying on the move. I love staying aggressive. You know, that's my style of ice fishing. And it, time after time it proves that's how you put more fish on the ice, guaranteed. With today's tips and tactics, you can put more fish on the ice. Be sure to grab some jigging spoons, try some ice trolling on your favorite walleye lake. 
I'd like to thank our guy, Tony Roach, Steve Hansen and Dan Quinn, part of the Ice Force. I'm Roger Cormier. We'll be right back with more Midwest Outdoors.